What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com, and welcome back to another one of our previews. Well, let's go to the main event of the weekend and the main event of the year so far, at least. It's the Grade 1 Pegasus World Cup. We're gonna coming at you Saturday, January 27th, race 13 on the card here. Boy, is this going to be a hell of a lot of fun on Saturday. A field of 12 plus one also eligible. Um, you're going to hear people say, oh, this horse is not here. This horse is not here, blah, blah, blah. I think we've got a really good race. I think it's going to be a very fun betting race. There's a lot of different ways you can go. So don't listen to the hate. This is going to be a very fun day. All right, let's get to it. And on top, I'm going to go number eight, first mission. Um, and kind of a full circle kind of situation for me in first mission a little bit uh really love this horse on debut bet him hard the next time out bet him hard again in the lexington we were feeling great after those two wins i was going to bet him hard in the preakness he scratched out of it come back you know at keeneland singled him the day he finally comes back um, and wins bet him hard in the clark he did lose that race by a nose but He's back in this situation. Um, I, I really think he is training up to this beautifully. Third race off of the layoff, I think, is good. Um, you hear Brad Cox talk about this horse. He is over the moon about how he's been training, leaning up to the race. I think first mission is going to show up and run a big race. Um, Luis Saez aboard once again. Obviously, that's a good sign. I can just kind of look at first mission, and I, I think his versatility is going to be important here. The pace looks like it could be fast. If it's not, first mission can go out and grab the lead. If it's really fast, he can sit off just a bit and be okay. So I really like the versatility of first mission. I like his talent level. So I'm going to go number eight, first mission on top. I do like number seven, national treasure in second. Not going to get too fancy in this spot. Um, look, he's kind of, to me, a little bit of a Jekyll and a Hyde. And you, you just kind of look at some of his races at times. He's looked very good. And if he runs that race, he did last time out in the Breeders Cup Dirt Mile it's going to be really, really tough to beat him. But some of the other races just haven't been good. And most of the time when his races are kind of weak or, or not great, it's because he didn't get out to an easy lead. I look at this on paper. I don't think he's going to have it his own way. And even if he does kind of fall out there on the lead, I do think first mission can turn up the pressure if he needs to. So to me, I think that the trip is going to be a little sketchy here. There, are, There's enough speed signed on that I'm a little worried he may not get it. Now, if he gets out in front, he's going to be really tough to run down. We've seen that. We saw it in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. We saw it in the Pegasus. But overall, I, I look at him and say, okay, he ran one fantastic race. The rest of his races have been pretty average. Can he put that race back together again? I'm not quite sure, but if he does, he's going to be tough. He's he's working out tremendously. It's not a horse I feel comfortable leaving off of a ticket. That's for sure. I'm just not going to pick him to win. So, uh, but no, no disrespect. Number seven, National Treasure, will be very tough in the spot, no doubt. The number six, Senior Buscador. I think this horse is very interesting. I've got him in third here. You know, you look at his, um, you know, his race pattern and he's been banging heads with the best. So this isn't really going to bother him from a class standpoint. He's been able to hit the board and race is kind of similar to this. And again, I think there's a ton of pace signed on here. I, I do know he's going to come from the back and come running. And even if you look back at some older Pegasus, you know, Pegasus, Pegasi from, <laughs> from, uh, from the past, You've kind of had that horse kind of come from the back and get second, third, fourth, something like that. So Buscador fits that mold. Can he get all the way up to win? It's going to have to be a little bit of a pace meltdown. But I guarantee you one thing, if the pace does melt down, Senior Buscador might win this thing. Uh, he's going to be the best closer in this race. So I put number six, Senior Buscador, in third. And then I put number five, Trademark, in fourth. And this is just kind of another one. He doesn't need the lead, but he's fast enough to kind of be on the lead or, or close to the lead, I should say. He's kind of going to be around. He's kind of going to kind of be there with National Treasure and with First Mission kind of within range of those horses. This guy just doesn't usually stop. I mean, yeah, the Fayette wasn't great, but his other races, he just kind of keeps going. He's kind of a grinder. He was able to beat my top choice last time out in the Clark. I kind of just feel like he was in great racing shape where First Mission was still trying to get back into it. So I think First Mission flips the, the script on him today. But I, I have a lot of respect for Trademark. He's just kind of a grinder, and I think he'll be there late you know, with a chance to at least hit the board. So to review, I'm going to go number eight, first mission on top. I'm going number seven, national treasure in second, number six, senior Buscador in third, and the number five trademark in fourth. Now, a couple of things as far as, you know, multi-races or even like exact bets, I don't have that ironed out yet. That's just the four horses I like in this race and the order I like it. Things could change, but I doubt it. But, uh, you know, to, to, to find out 
what we're doing specifically, make sure to come to the website on Saturday and at least, you know, uh, the, not buy the Pegasus Bible or buy uh, our premium products to kind of see exactly how we're going to play this race. Because as I sit here today, I've done handicapping it. But now the hard part comes, structuring the bets correctly and trying to do things in that nature. So make sure to check the website. Um, that's the horses I like, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, thanks, everybody, for, for uh, watching this video. Hit the like button if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this. And most importantly, good luck if you're playing Gulfstream Park on Saturday. <laughs>